Yes, relax. Okay, be gentle. Hop up. Hop up and jump jump. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And this video of course is going to be all about my Indian runner ducks that just got delivered in the mail. So I ordered these guys from Tractor Supply in store. And the hatchery that Tractor Supply uses is uh, Hoover's Hatchery. And I can't complain. I got 10 assorted Indian runner ducks, unsexed. So I don't know if they're male or female. But here, these little white ones right here, these little yellow ones are fawn Indian runner ducks. These ones right here, with, they almost look like little mallards, which is pretty much what they are. You can call them gray mallard Indian runner ducks or just mallard Indian runner ducks. And there's also one blue, they call them, which is just a gray kind of, he has a, like a, like, they have like a light blue tint when they're fully grown or chocolate, I'm not sure. Either way, so I have, what, four of the mallards, five of the fawn, and one gray or chocolate, whoever he is. But um, yeah, they're all happy and healthy. And um, just a little bit about the whole process of ordering them. So I ordered these guys on March 15th, like I said, in-store, in tractor supply and they came today, which is March 22nd. They actually said that delivery was gonna be on Thursday, but it was today on Wednesday, which is great. They also said a bunch about how you have to pick them up from the post office and wait for the post office to call you and, and make sure you track your package and all that. But they actually just delivered it right to my door. They rang the doorbell this morning and it was UPS, um, United States Postal Service, just right at my door with the chicks in hand and handed them off. Service tracking, package tracking was not very accurate at all um, because it said it was in like Minnesota for like two days. The, um, the chicks were there for about two days, the box, but that wasn't true at all because they were obviously, must have been right around the corner because they were delivered today. So that was the only little downside to that. But other than that, I mean, it came in two days, three days after it said the box shipped, which was great. You know, ducklings can survive and chicks, of course, can survive two or three days without food or water because they're fresh out of the shell and they still have the yolk in their stomach from when they're hatched. Look at this little guy. Anyway, I'm going to end this clip here and I'll catch up with you guys in another week or two. Probably a week. Just to show you guys how big they got. So here you are. I'm gonna miss you, this small little buddy. Look at him. Look at, look at the size of the bill. Just so tiny and cute in their feet. Bring him this way. Come on. Good boy. Gizmo. Easy. Gizmo. Maybe he's not the best herd dog. Easy, Giz. Okay, good enough. Gizmo. Hey, hey.
Come on, Chuggy's down here. Come on, Chick, come on. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cute. Guys, come on. Training them with a little pole here. Round them up. Hello, guys. So the ducks are pretty much one month old, 30 days. They're at like probably around 28, 29 days, but still, check them out. You got their feathers coming in. You can definitely see it on these uh, fawn runners. Their brown chest coming in, really nice. Little gizzy boy, good boy. Protect them. All right, so I've had the ducks sleeping out here for the past few nights. It's been in the 70s, 60s, high 50s, so it's been pretty nice. And this is our little setup just for outside at night. I take this out during the day and I just let them run around in here during the day. There's the goosey boy. Anyway, you've got this, there's a little water thing. I put that in there as well, but of course they just make it so muddy. Look down there, look at them. They were crying because when I didn't have this thing in here, so when I put it in, they like kind of slept kind of halfway in it like this, like they are now, and they seem pretty happy. And then I'll cry at night, like little babies, but look at them. I love how these dark ones have like really orange feet that are coming in. And just their, you can see their real true feathers coming in under the chest and on their side. And they're looking really good. Look how big these guys are. They are so awesome. This one right here is probably the biggest. I don't know why he just, he's probably a boy. A little bigger than the females. And there's not really a smallest one. Maybe this white one here or that, that gray one. But check them out guys, they are, they are so big. Everything. 
everything But my legs won't work, it's clear to me Here you are. I'm gonna miss you, this small little buddy.